Hi there! This video is an Akitsu overview. First, let's discover Akitsu's basic interface. Akitsu is divided up into two separate parts, the animation part and the rigging part. This icon on the bottom right hand corner displays a key now. This means we are in the animation screen. If we click on it, we are redirected to the rigging screen. Akitsu's interface is a wide 3D viewport with all of the UI displaying on these menus. All of these menus are similar to one another. You can move menus around, you can lock them underneath each other, you can fold menus and expand them, you can stretch menus if they have four dots on the bottom, You can access that menu's settings through this cogwheel. And you can access Help. When you click on the Help icon, you will be redirected to the Akitsu manual. You can see here that I selected Help for my tree window, and that is now displaying. We can access our main menu through this button on the top left corner of the screen. You can see here we have the new scene option, or Control N. We can have as many scenes open at once as we want. We also have our Open Scene option, or Control O, which allows us to open up our Akitsu files, or .akt files. We have our Close Scene option, or Control w We have Recent Scenes, which displays the most recently opened Akitsu files, or Control shift o We also have Save Scene and Save Scene As, Control s and Control shift s and our Import FBX, or Control i We also have our Export FBX options and settings. Our options are to export a full scene, export scene with only selected animations, export selection, export selection and only selected animations. Our settings for exporting is Bake Animations, Use ASCII Format, Embed Media and Export Without Animation. I'm going to go ahead and export my full scene. You can see here that I have three animations on this character, so I will be naming this Wolf 3. Now if I open that file in my FBX review, you can see here that all three of those animations have been saved to this FBX. We also have Export to Sketchfab, which brings up the Sketchfab login, and you can also create an account here. And we have Undo and Redo, which you can also access by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift C. We have our Help options, Manual and Frequently Asked Questions, Tutorials, Homepage, Forum and Bug Report, License, Check for Updates, and About Akitsu, and Quit or Control Q. You can access your viewports and settings through this button on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You can see here that we have three shading options Fully Textured, Wireframe, and Textured with Wireframe. You can also access this through your number pad 1, 2, and 3. Number pad 4 will allow you to show your joints. 
and number pad 5 will allow you to display your pivots. You can also access your grid through this button or pressing the G key. Here you can see that you have four different layout options. Single view, two views, which you can also access with F2, F1 for single view, F3 for two views with your curve board, and F4 for four views. You can access your different cameras through here. You have perspective, front, back, right, left, top, and bottom, or you can use your numbers one through seven. Here you have your shortcut manager, which you can change and reset through here. And you have your preferences. These preferences can also be selected through your menus with this little cogwheel.